Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I got a very special video for you today. I've been thinking about this for a long time, ever since Halo Universe was announced, and I thought it was time to put my list together for my ultimate Halo Universe blind bag series. I put a lot of thought into this, thought about it for like honestly too long, and if you didn't know, Halo Universe is Mega Construct's brand new line that covers all of the game's canon material that's come before Halo Infinite. So the world is our oyster, we can do anything with this series. And it was first announced with Series 1 of the Blind Bags. I just reviewed them on the channel a few days ago, you can check out that video. And it's a pretty good series. When I'm thinking about it, it doesn't break the mold too much. There are two really exceptional figures, the ones in the center. That brute is brand new molding, but I, I think it was a bit of a safe play. I'm hoping in Series 2 of Halo Universe they really sort of branch out. And here are my eight figures that I want to see in Halo Universe coming soon. I got a few rules before we start. It has to be half UNSC, half enemies. Must include a grunt because that's every single blind bag series. One AC figure must be in the collection. Only two new molds at most and it needs to cover a variety of games. So I put together a list and I think it's a pretty solid one. I'm really happy, really confident with this lineup and it actually just makes me more excited for the future of Halo Universe. Can you guess what any of them are already? We're gonna start with the first one, a Spartan. You know, we have to have a Spartan in our blind bag series. And I thought, what better than a Helljumper ODST Spartan? I absolutely love these guys. We've only seen a couple of them, and I thought I'd give it some funky colors. And, you know, ODSTs are my bread and butter. I didn't include actual ODSTs on this list, but I wanted to include something that was a nod to them. And I thought, what better than a uh, sort of mirror after Edward Buck himself? You know, ever since Halo 5 Guardians, I think Buck didn't even get enough screen time in that game. But I've been dying to see more of him. I really hope he is in Infinite. And we've got the original figure here and another one that we have seen in the past. That is the first figure. The only random Spartan in my collection. I thought if it's gotta be any, it's gotta be a Hell Jumper. The second is an NMPD Trooper. You know me. I love NMPD, and it's just something that we got so much of at the time, but none since. Halo 3 ODST is my favorite game, and the troopers, they don't even get much screen time in that game, but their presence is all around when you're, you know, fighting the streets of New Mombasa. I just absolutely love them. I think they're a sick design, and we haven't seen them in a few years, so it's time to bring them back. There was one point in time we were getting wave and wave of NMPD sets. I just love all of these. That NMPD Pelican will be mine one day, I promise you. But that's the second on this list. I want to see the NMPD Trooper return. It's about time. And if we're talking about Marines here, I've chosen a few different figures on this list that match each other. This is a Halo 2 Sergeant. I knocked it up with a Johnson head. It doesn't need to be Johnson's head, but Halo has had so many awesome Marines over the time. Halo 2 and 3 are some of my favorite. I know you want the Halo Reach Marine, and that is on my sort of backlog list, but I could only include a couple of new molds, and I wanted one Marine. In Halo Universe Series 1, we did get a Halo 2 Marine, so I think it's perfect to get a Sergeant or a Commander as well, so we can have him commanding the troops. And it would be great to have a different skin tone as well, maybe a different mold than Johnson's face, but it would also be great, I've been saying for a while, that blind bags should just include different skin tones randomly. It wouldn't be that difficult to do, but it would be really great for differentiation. So a commander of some sort to lead our Series 1 Marines would be really great. The same way Halo Infinite Series 1, 2, and 3 have built on the Marines, I want the same. Then we've got the fourth figure, a Promethean Soldier. You know me, I love the Promethean Soldier mold, and we haven't had it for a while. It's time that we have another opportunity to stockpile it to army build, because now if you want to buy it, it's uh, priced really high online. The Promethean Soldiers were one of my favorite parts of Halo 5 Guardians. I thought they were really awesome, actually. And we got a few different lineups with the Promethean Soldiers. We got the Standard Soldier and the Sniper. So if I was to request a new mold, I would really love them to include a Promethean Officer. We've never seen the Officer, and it's got some really dope molding on there. So I would love to see that as my fourth figure on this list. And it's good to give a nod to the Prometheans, because they were such a big part of Halo 4 and 5. 
believe. Then we've got an elite. And this is a Heretic Elite, which you may be surprised by because yes, we have got a Heretic Elite coming in the new Arbiter's Quest set, but I don't want to buy many of those sets. I don't want to buy multiple, and I really want an opportunity to army build my Heretic Elites before they sort of fade into obscurity or get scalped online. Like, I really want an opportunity to get three or four of those. So the Heretic Elite made it onto my list for Halo Universe Series 2. You know, this is a practical list. I don't just want to make ridiculous requests. Mega already has the mold, they're releasing it this year, and it's not out the question, Sese Refumi is also being released in the 20th anniversary pack, so I think it's very likely that we could get this uh, Gold Heretic Elite released in something else, and I want it released in my blind bag so I can army build it. That is my fifth figure, and it's onto the sick. You know what this is from the outline, it's a Skirmisher. And this is the old mold Skirmisher, but it's the perfect time for it to return. We've got Skirmishers confirmed in Halo Infinite, like they are coming, so let's bring them into Mega Constructs in full force. They look absolutely awesome. And yes, we have have got a new articulation skirmisher only once in the sword base invasion set but it was so limited release and it's only two of them and they're in red I want the standard gray. You know, in red, we've got the old and the new articulation there, and the gray only old articulation. So let's get that in the blind bag. I think it would be a perfect Covenant figure and another Halo Reach figure. It's really awesome. Like, I'm I'm all for the skirmishes. It could even be the infinite figure. Then we're gonna move on to the grunt because every blind bag series has a grunt. You can't avoid it. So I've chosen a gold grunt because I want a gold heretic grunt. I was disappointed a gold heretic grunt didn't come with the Arbiter's Quest, and I know this is not a Heretic Grunt mold, it's just the one that's available on the internet. I would love to get an actual molded Heretic Grunt. And it's about time, man, we don't have many Grunt molds in New Articulation, only three or four. We had a Gold Grunt in an ODST set, and I think it's time we get another one, but Heretic style. Like, we, we need that Heretic Grunt, man, we've only got a few Grunts, and we, we love our Grunts here at the Domain, so I guess you're wondering what the AC figure is. I've saved that till last. It's the eighth in the lineup. I know you can probably tell from the outline which Spartan this is. It's Spartan June. And I know that might be an interesting choice, but hear me out. I want a half AC translucent June. And we've been getting loads of half translucent figures in the power packs. And I think most people thought that that was just one experiment from Mega and that was it. It was over. But no, in Halo Universe Series 1, we have a half translucent Spartan Aster, so it's the perfect time. Jun is such an integral part of Noble Team, he survived Reach, and I just want him to get even more justice. This is my half AC Jun, and he only needs to be one color, he could just be half green, half black. That's fine by me, half green, half white, as long as it's a half transferring Jun. Folks, that is the full list of my eight figures for Halo Universe Series 2. But wait, hold on, the video's not over, there's more! I thought, why not bring something back? I want gummy figures to return. Our chase figures, man. Where have the chase figures gone? I miss them so much. They were my favorite part of blind bags. They made hunting them so exciting. So I want chase figures to return. And what better figure to return chase figures to their former glory than our favorite AI, Cortana? You know, that may seem like a funny request, but hear me out. One in every four or five boxes has a Cortana, and you just have to chase it down. It's just the unobtainable figure. I, like, most people have a Cortana. It's not like you couldn't track it down anyway in other ways, but people would want to find this particular Cortana. In series four of the blind bags, Cortana was the ultra rare, the chase figure, and she was pretty dang rare. I don't think she was in every box. And she was particularly special because she came with her data chip. So I'm saying, take that old data chip, put Cortana on, new articulation, and you've got a random surprise chase figure that is very, very rare. That's like my absolute obtainable. If I was going nuts and I thought like, hey, let's make the best series, I would love to have a really cool, super rare chase figure, Cortana. Folks, that is my ultimate Halo Universe Series 2 blind bag wish list. An NMPD trooper, Halo 2 commanding officer, a Halo 5 Spartan hell jumper, half AC June, then a Promethean soldier, hopefully like a officer class or sniper, then a skirmisher, a heretic, elite, and grunt, 
and a random one in every four or five boxes Chase Cortana with data chip. Let me know in the comments down below what is your ultimate list. I would absolutely love to hear in the comments down below what your ideas for Halo Universe blind bags are. If there are enough of them, I would love to make a separate video on just fan requests. And this was another video with the domain. Please do rate my choices out of 10 down below. What do you think was an awesome choice? What do you think wasn't? I made it pretty practical, you know, you have to have a grunt, you have to have a lot of figures that are reusing molds like the Skirmisher or the Halo 2 Marine, the NMPD officer, but also some cool new ones to add into the mix as well. I would love to army build that heretic elite more than ever. Stay awesome, stay safe, and see you next time, folks.